Mr Speaker, we on this side of the House have pledged to balance the books in the next Parliament. I said a year ago the next Labour government will get the current budget into surplus and national debt falling as soon as possible in the next Parliament. This Charter before us today is fully consistent with our position, so on that basis we will support the motion today. We are not going to change our view about what is in Britain's best interests because another one of the Chancellor's silly failing games, Madam Deputy Speaker. And, uh, if you um, don't want to take it from me, uh, interesting press release which was issued this morning by um, not somebody I normally quote in the House, the, um, the, taxpayers, Allo- the, 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 the taxpayers Alliance. Oh. This is what the Chief Executive of the Taxpayers Alliance said just an hour ago about this debate. He said, this is a meaningless political gimmick of the most transparent kind and one that only serves and one that serves only to remind taxpayers how I think um, I think honourable gent- I think honourable gentlemen should listen to this it's, no no I, I'm going to read the quote first it's a meaningless political gimmick of the most transparent kind and one that serves only to remind taxpayers Taxpayers, how dramatically this Chancellor has missed his own original targets. We're happy to vote to remind people how much the Chancellor has missed his targets, Madam Deputy Speaker. I've got a very simple question to him. If he thinks it's a gimmick, why is he getting the Labour Party to support it?